along with my uh, definition. So now the first uh, the first topic is my uh, canonical sequence. of a given basket. Okay, so uh, everything is, is, uh, is, is, is done by summing up uh, the, single, the single singularity. So for simplicity, let me assume that B is uh, only one singularity. And here we can assume that uh, B and uh, B is cool prime. R. Uh, and so uh, I, I, I define the set S naught. So this is uh, simply 1 over n. And uh, n is at least 2. n is an integer. So that means this is a, yeah, on this uh, line, so you have, uh, yeah, so here this is uh, 1 and a half. Three. Uh, sorry, this is a uh, one of four. So uh, all these points are discard are scattered in on this uh, interval uh, from zero to uh, half. Okay. So uh, this interval can be written as a union of. Uh, the endpoints say uh, 1 over i plus 1, 1 of i, and uh, here i is from 2 infinity. Okay, so, so uh, there exists some n positive so that uh, this uh, b over r is between. Uh, n plus 1 is smaller than uh, sorry maybe how about uh, uh, b over r is 1 over 2 so uh, Ah, oh, sorry. This, uh, yeah, this is correct. Yeah, because one over two, you take n to be one. Yeah, if this is a one or a half, then you take n to be zero. Yeah. So anyway, there is unique integer n, so that we have we have this. And um, uh, yeah, sorry, what I care about is uh, except for one, yeah, so except for one, two, yeah. So, so except for, uh, yeah, so, sorry, I should, okay, uh, except. One, two, but this is, uh, yeah, in, the end point. This is on the end point. Okay, so then uh, we can find a unique uh, basket. So this basket is say the P not. We can write down this. So this is a uh, 1 n plus 1 and 1 n. Okay, so uh, what is the uh, weight here? So this is 1 m plus 1. Uh, so it's easy to <laughs> solve this. So we can, yeah, for example, we can, yeah, so let me write down this. So we can write this uh, b minus r 
in and uh, r minus n b times 1 and plus 1. Of course, this is uh, unique, just uh, show the equations. So this is a uh, preceding b. Okay, so this basket is, is called the initial basket. Of B. Okay, we want to go on this story. So uh, we define S1, S2, uh, S3, S4. They are equal. Okay, uh, but uh, S5. is defined to be uh, S4 union the this set uh, yeah uh, this is uh, yeah say uh, B as a so I over five so this is I hmm? what is S I S I. You S zero, yes. Is S zero is there? S zero is here. What is S one, S two, This is. Uh, they are equal but to the, S naught. So I'm 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 defining this. Ah. No, S Y. <laughs> so S five is uh, exactly two over five. Okay. So we add one point here. So two over five. That's uh, that's here. Yeah, two over five. One point here. Okay. So uh, then we can, in general, we can yeah we can define this uh, by induction. Say s s say s n. So this is uh, s n minus 1 and take the union of j over n so that uh, j is uh, smaller than n over 2 and j is co prime to n. Okay? So just, uh, yeah. One uh, step by step to add uh, some points here. So th each time we, yeah, for for example, by this definition, uh, S six should equal to S five. But S seven is, uh, yeah, for example, S seven. What is S seven? So by definition, S seven should be S six union, uh, yeah, two over seven and three over seven. Okay, so this is only yeah very very simple. You add each time you add some point, but you see how can you get two five? Two five is by two five is by one two by uh, one three as a uh, prime parking into two five. Okay, so then we we get uh, yeah we. So with all these points on this uh, line, and then uh, for any n five, so we we get uh, the decomposition of this uh, interval, say zero to one and a half. So this is the union of the small <coughs> interval. So this is uh, omega i plus 1, this is level n, omega i n, okay? So i is, I think it's, yeah, so i is, uh, yeah, okay? So this is a uni, 
And then how is it, what is the end point? So if I write, so, so the first claim, so this is very simple, yeah. So the first claim is that uh, if uh, omega i plus one n, the level n, omega i n. So if this is uh, v1 over u1, yeah. So if this is a v1 over u1, v2 over u2, uh, here v, v i, u i are co-prime each other. So this is a simple, uh, the, yeah, I mean, the simplest expression. So then, so it's easy to, to prove by, by, uh, by the uh, reduction that uh, uh, you, you will see that uh, uh, v, uh, u1 v2 minus u2 v1 is 1. Okay, so this is a, a very simple. You can uh, verify this. Okay, so uh, so then we define uh, the canonical sequence. So as as we have seen, the B naught is defined. So what is B n? How can we define B n? Uh, so so we here so uh, so definition of B N and the uh, functor, uh, not functor, since uh, operator, uh, operator. So when we define operator, I write this N operator, uh, acts, uh, yeah, operator on the basket, on a given basket. So here, uh, B n is simply write as uh, operator n acts on the given basket B. So how to define this? This is a yeah. So uh, so we want to define this. So uh, there are two steps. So if the so first step, uh, if uh, B over R, so this number is in SN. Then we keep, we keep it just uh, uh, so B and B equals to B. Okay? Uh, so if uh, E over R is not in this set SN, because we have this decomposition. So there is unique. So there is a unique interval so that is uh, inside this. There is unique i so that uh, b over r is strictly inside this interval, say omega i plus 1 omega i n, right? So this, uh, let me denote this by, yeah, so uh, say p1, q1, yeah, say uh, uh, q1, p1, yeah, say, say this is uh, q1 over p1, q2 over p2. These are simple, uh, the QI and PI are co-prime each other. So that means <coughs> we can uh, unpack in this, uh, this into the uh, sum of this. So we can construct uh, so uh, B N of B so this is a steer uh, to solve the equations. So it's uh, there. It's unique, of course. You can, yeah, you can uh, simply write down this. So let me write down this. So this is R Q two minus B P two times Q one P one. And another 
is minus R Q1 plus B P1 Q2 P2 okay so this is a definition so so of course this is can be packed into B and this is unique <coughs> we just uh, verify this so we just uh, sum up the first first item and second item then you get uh, BR okay so it seems that for any n yeah we define BN so so what is relation yeah between this so then uh, it's uh, yeah so the f now we have the claim B it's also it's also uh, elementary to verify this so the, this says that there is a yeah, very important relation between all this BN so which says that uh, for any N positive so B N of B is simply equal to B uh, sorry so this is B N, N minus 1 sorry uh. Which this 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 claim says that b n minus one b is simply b n minus one and b n of b. Okay, we can verify this. And uh, from the second second the right hand side the this basket has simply so this is uh, some basket. So when you take a b n minus one, it can be packed into the, this basket. So this is uh, b n of b. Okay. Now we use a very simple simple notation. This defines to be b n, and this is denoted by b. Uh, sorry, this is uh, b n minus one. This is b n. Okay. So we, yeah, we simply get uh, this sequence. So this is B naught. Okay. So so here we have B five, B six. Actually, this is equal. Okay. Uh, in fact, by this definition, when A is large enough, say, say this is BR, B over R, so B equals to BR by definition, right? Because the uh, denominator, yeah. Okay. <coughs> okay. So uh, for A large enough. So this is equals to B when A is large enough by definition, right? So this is a yeah very uh, very key yeah key claim. So, but it's uh, it's uh, it's verified. Okay. So now we we have this uh, canonical sequence, and this sequence is unique is uniquely defined, and uh, yeah. So all these are theoretical. So now I give a very concrete, concrete basket to see how, how can you do in practice. Okay. So this is simple. <coughs> so how, how can you do this? So uh, for example, So if you have a basket, say B is 5, 12, for a single, single singularity. So now, of course, by definition, this is equals to B12. OK? So what I, I'm going to see is uh, what is uh, BM when M is smaller than 12. OK? What is B0? So, uh, this can be done. So, what is B? You, you can, you can, yeah. What is B11? Yeah. So, uh, 
Yeah. So uh, in order to do this, you uh, you see that uh, yeah, we, we can we can yeah do this. So this is a uh, zero, and this is uh, one over two. Okay. And then it's one over four, and uh, over three, <coughs> and here one over five. So, uh, yeah, you have uh, uh, two over five, and here you have three over seven. Okay, and here you have uh, two over seven. Okay, you have two over nine, and uh, there's one over six. So here you have two over. 11. Yeah. So, and uh, also you have here uh, uh, 3 over 11 here. Okay. So, what is 5 of 12? This is in which, yeah, which, uh, yeah, in which period? I think, yeah, it's, uh, it's here. Yeah. This is 5 over 12. Okay. So, so what is B eleven? So B eleven. So this is this can be yeah. There are B eleven. There are many yeah many many intervals here. So five of twelve is uh, between two over five and three of seven. So it's here. So B eleven is uh, simply yeah uh, two five. Okay, and. 3, 7. This is B11. Because 5 and 7 are smaller than or equal to 11. Right? And then, yeah, what's, uh, what's the... Uh, so, so from here you see that for definition, so B7 equals to B8. Yeah, sorry, I should write. Uh, Okay, seven, eight, dot, dot, B, ten, B, eleven. This is by definition. So, because high, high, the uh, biggest number is seven here. So then, what is uh, what is B six? So B six should uh, yeah begin from B seven. So, so you want to to study three seven three seven. Where is three seven? Three seven is here. Okay, three seven is uh, yeah, so is here. So three seven is uh, so this is a uh, yeah. Where is two two five two five is here? Yeah, okay. So two five and three seven can be decomposed. Yeah, can be unpacked into uh, two five one two. Okay. So this also equals to B6, uh, B5 by definition. Okay, of course they can be packed into B7. And finally, it's easy to see that two five. How about two five? Two five can be unpacked into one three one two. Okay. So finally, B5 actually you will see this is B0. Yeah. So this is equal to uh, now two. So this is two. Yeah, two five is one three one two. So one times one three and this two and plus this. So three one two. Okay. So now it's clear. Everything is clear. So the canonical sequence of B is like this. Okay. Uh, so this is a B six. Yeah. So B five should be. Uh, yeah. B six. Yeah. Okay. B six and B six equals to B six equals to B seven. Uh, no, no. Yeah. B six equals to 
No, no, no. This is uh, equals to this equals to b uh, b b six. Okay. So b seven. And uh, so dot dot to b eleven. And and uh, yeah, b eleven. And finally, b twelve. So this is a canonical sequence. So every every basket can be done in this in this way. It's very yeah, very concrete. So um, so what yeah yeah what is the the each each step? So each step yeah each step can be realized by uh, some number of uh, prime packings. Because from our claim one, a uh, claim A and claim B. <coughs> okay, so in this canonical sequence, so we want to calculate this <coughs> using the invariance of the basket. <coughs> so for each step, so uh, for each step, for any A, so this. Uh, this b n minus one to b n can be realized successively by epsilon n prime packings. Okay, so what is epsilon n? So you, you, sh you should check the definition. So it's uh, determined by this bn. Okay, so now we, yeah, because the definition is clear. So uh, the important relation is the following lemma. So this is, uh, uh, so this lemma, so for how to calculate, yeah. So, for the canonical sequence, say B n, uh, the following are true. So first, uh, we know that B delta of j B naught is equal to delta of j. B. So all these are verified, are verified in our papers. So for j equals to 3 or 4. This is first. And second is delta j of b a minus 1 equals to delta j of b a. For all J smaller than n. Okay? And then the third property is delta n b n minus one. This can be calculated by delta n b n plus epsilon n. So epsilon n b. Okay, so uh, and finally, we know that the delta of n b n. This is delta n of b. Okay, so maybe sorry, I I have to I have to shift here. So in, in case you you are confused so for M uh, okay and uh, yeah for some M yeah okay so uh, so this is an important lemma so uh, you, suppose you have you have a, a concrete basket B then you have a concrete 
concrete uh, sequence. And what is epsilon n? So epsilon n can be calculated using the third equality. So just uh, calculate delta n, b n minus 1 delta n. So the difference of this is epsilon n. So this is a <coughs> yeah, very, very, very important point. OK? So, so all these are, yeah, are formally. So they are, they have uh, no geometric, yeah, <coughs> geometric meaning here. But now uh, I want to relate this with uh, ge <coughs> geometric backgrounds. Okay. So <coughs> we want to study this using geometrical property. So then we have to study weighted basket. So yeah, so far we only study some uh, some formal basket, but now we yeah we we study weighted basket. What is a weighted basket? Yeah, this this is uh, induced from Reid's formula. So in Reid's formula, it, it says that uh, all the invariants of uh, of the given three form are determined not only by this uh, basket. <coughs> we should, uh, yeah, we should need uh, two more, two more, two more quantities. So that's why we should, yeah, we should need weighted basket. So weighted basket, I write, I write this with this B. Yeah. So this is a triple. The first one is the, the basket. The second one is uh, some integer, say uh, chi 2. This is not really the, the OLA characteristic, because this is still, still yeah, not necessarily geometric. So I add tilde here, and chi tilde. Oh, sorry, tilde. So here, B is a basket, and uh, chi two tilde, uh, chi tilde are any given integers. So the triple is called a weighted basket. So why is this so important? Because from this we can define the volume, we can define the Euler characteristic of this weighted basket. So now I'm defining this. <coughs> okay. So uh, first, yeah, we want to define. Uh, first is the uh, first is. Uh, uh, so uh, remember that this will, uh, in very special case, this will correspond to the OILA char characteristic of uh, chi m chi 2kx. Okay, this is corresponding to chi of ox. Yeah, just uh, yeah, just for the background. <coughs> okay, but in general, we can still theoretically study this weighted basket. Okay, so now we, we define we define the Euler characteristic. So say chi two of the weighted basket. This is uh, this one chi two of tilde and uh, uh, chi three of the weighted basket is defined by minus sigma of b plus 10 chi tilde plus 5 chi tilde 2 tilde, chi 2 tilde. Okay. And then we define the volume, uh, say, k cubed. But this is uh, the volume of the weighted basket. So this is uh, defined by uh, minus sigma plus sigma prime plus 
2 chi theta yeah, plus 2 chi 2 theta. So forgive me, uh, so uh, everything is uh, everything is so uh, formal. So uh, in, in fact, in the process of uh, our understanding, this theory uh, is uh, oriented by Reed, Reed's Riemann Rock formula. So, uh, so yeah, so everything, yeah, the, the Reed, Riemann Rock forced us to define this. <coughs> so it's, uh, yeah, so finally we'll see. Yeah, now uh, for any m larger than or equal to 3, so we can define the Euler char characteristic chi m plus 1 b inductively by uh, chi minus chi m b. So this is uh, m squared over 2, so here k cubed b minus sigma prime plus m over 2 sigma b minus 2 chi theta plus delta of m b. On the right hand, everything is, everything is defined. Okay, so we, we just uh, define this inductively. So uh, in very special case, you will see this will correspond to the volume of the threefold, and this will uh, correspond to uh, Euler char characteristic of uh, m plus one kx. So everything, yeah, everything is formal. Okay, so uh, so this definition is. Uh, Yeah, it uh, has geometric meaning in the following sense. If the basket, <coughs> if the weighted basket is, is exactly the weighted, bas weighted basket of uh, the given threefold, that means if the basket is geometric, then uh, all these invariants are geometric invariants of the threefold. Okay, so this is a Remark, and uh, uh, it's easy to it's easy to calculate this. It's easy to see. So uh, uh, if uh, the basket is exactly the geometric basket of given threefold, say this is Reed's basket P X, and uh, the second term is uh, uh, chi two K X. And the last term is chi ox. That means chi two theta is this, chi theta is this. Then <coughs> we see that the k cubed of b, the volume is exactly the volume of the threefold. And for any m uh, chi m b is exactly chi x m k x. Okay, so the right hand side are geometric invariant. Okay, so <coughs> yeah, so this is, this is a very, very important uh, definition. So then, uh, so we uh, we update our partial ordering onto the set of uh, weighted basket. Okay, so we we define uh, t to be the weighted basket. The set of weighted basket. For example, uh, how to define this? So we say that, for for example, define the definition is like this: the, the partial ordering. On uh, be, uh, between between weighted basket is like this. So we have basket B. So this is weighted basket is B and uh, chi two theta chi theta. So this is uh, can be packed into another weighted basket P prime B prime. So this is B prime. 
and the weights are the same. If B can be packed into B prime, okay. So this, uh, so this is a very yeah very simple simple definition. So we just uh, yeah to yeah update uh, update the partial ordering onto this set. Okay. So what's the advantage of this basket uh, of this of this uh, partial ordering? So uh, here it's. Uh, Its advantage. The, it, it says that uh, if uh, the weighted basket is preceding uh, is preceding B prime, then the evidence. Yeah. Then we have a uh, following. So the first is the volume, the K cubed of B. So this is. Greater than or equal to K3 of B prime. And secondly, for any M, we have chi M of the basket is greater than or equal to chi M of B prime. Okay, so this is very important. So now, uh, how can this? Uh, be applied to to the to the to the ge uh, geometric case. For example, yeah, if we yeah we want to find in yeah many. For example, for example, if uh, x is uh, uh, minimal threefold of general type. Type, then there is a unique basket, say Bx, this is a weighted basket, this is uh, Bx. So this is unique determined by x due to read. So we call this read basket. And here, this is uh, P, P2, because chi is, because this is general type. So this is P2 of x. And this is uh, chi of Ox. Okay, we want to find the lower bound of uh, of the volume of this threefold, and also we want to estimate the lower bound of this uh, or this PM. So suppose there exists there exists a concrete basket. Say uh, B prime, so that B X is preceding this B prime. Then we know that uh, the K X cubed is larger than or equal to K cubed of B prime, and for any M larger than or equal to two, the plurigenus of P X. Larger than P, yeah, so, say chi M of B prime. Yes, this is only uh, assumption. Suppose you you know there is some 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 concrete basket, but the the, the later one need not need not be be geometric. Yeah, it can be any. Yeah. So suppose you have this, then you can. But uh, of course. This B prime should be some basket B prime because according to our definition, this should be P two of x and chi of x. Okay, so here B prime is a, a formal basket, need not be geometric. So, uh, so the the strategy is that for three folds of general type, we can, <coughs> yeah, we can find such a, such an element. And then we can do do the thing. So uh, okay. So this is a uh, yeah still in the process of my 
uh, introduction. So, um, yeah, how can we uh, how can we do this? So we need to uh, we need to find we we still need to find this yeah. So that that means we have this uh, we have this uh, yeah this is a former basket. Now we want to update everything, and uh, we have the canonical sequence for the weighted basket. So here it's P M. So this is uh, P X. So given a threefold of general type, then you have a canonical sequence. Okay. Here you have P N. You have. P five, and you have P naught. So, uh, given a threefold X, you have this basket. But this is a yeah. This this is a existence. There exists such a basket. But uh, uh, this can be expressed by the invariance of X. Okay, by the invariance of x, and then we want to we want to calculate all this uh, this uh, this preceding basket in terms of the invariance of x. So now the story is like this: suppose um, on the given threefold x, so we have many 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 bi-rational invariants which are very small. Then we we the, the, we can see that. Uh, the the expression of this uh, p x is uh, some somehow it's, it's simple, and then we can recover all this. Okay, so to some extent we we can we can find, uh, for example, uh, we we don't need to 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 know until this. Maybe we yeah in most of time we can calculate b twelve. In very yeah in very worst case the worst case people uh, for those case people are not uh, yeah have not in not a result on this this case then we can find that b12 can be listed one by one it's finite suppose this is finite and we know the relation is that so b12 suppose you know that this is very concrete there are only finite possibilities. And Bx is, uh, is yeah, yeah, the relation is Bx is behind this. But uh, uh, beginning, uh, beginning with a uh, concrete basket, the minimal element uh, with respect to the partial order is, uh, is, is determined. Only finite number of possibilities. So that means we can we can determine all the minimal elements. So that means this is uh, determined up to finite possibilities. So uh, so our geometric basket is something between here and here. So since we know this is this has five uh, finite possibility, so we know the minimal basket has finite finite possibility so <coughs> the mystery uh, geometric basket has all the invariants larger than or equal to those of minimal basket so we are done okay so uh, what so uh, what i didn't explain is how to calculate uh, bx in terms of uh, in terms of bira bira uh, invariant of x so now i think in 10 minutes i explain this story <coughs> so i'm sorry there are so many uh, formulae but uh, yeah everything is checked in my in my papers so i just uh, <coughs> tell you uh, how to yeah theoretically how to <coughs> recover the basket so this is uh, yeah from from uh, the several lemmas before So the story is like this. So how how can we do this? So first, <coughs> we know that. Uh, 
So let me do, yeah. So we know this, this quantity is defined to be sigma prime minus K3 B. So this uh, is four chi tilde. This is very concrete and chi two minus chi three tilde. Okay, so we know that uh, uh, sigma is pain chi tilde plus five chi two minus chi three tilde. And we can calculate delta three. So how how can we know delta three? So delta three is by definition by definition of chi four and chi three. So we uh, rewrite this. So this is five chi plus six chi two minus four chi three plus chi four. This is a inductive <coughs> inductive definition of chi four tilde where you can find delta 3 okay so of course delta 4 can be yeah and and until delta 12 we can yeah calculate everything like this is uh, chi 2 tilde minus 66 <coughs> minus chi 12 tilde plus chi 13. Okay? So all these are from the definition. And then uh, if we write the B naught, B naught is uh, uh, given yeah, the initial, initial. So if we write this as uh, N120 times 1, 2, 1R0 times 1R, Okay, uh, so uh, we, we know the property of the basket. So sigma b equals to sigma b naught. Okay, because this is a, yeah, simply one n naught one j, j from one to r. Okay, so, uh, so lemma, uh, maybe 2.1, right? Lemma 2.1. So this implies as delta 3b equals to delta 3b naught. Okay, but the delta 3 of b naught is uh, com computable. And only, we don't care when r is uh, very large, but the uh, delta 3 only depends to one n, n, one, two. Okay, so by definition, uh, so you, we calculate this. This is uh, simply n one two zero, and uh, by s the s same lemma, so you know delta delta four. So this is uh, also delta three of b naught. So this after calculation, you see that this is n one two zero plus one three zero. Or other terms doesn't affect delta delta four. So then we can roughly recognize B naught. So we yeah we calculate B yeah you you want to calculate B naught. So you want to know this and what is or other things. So first n one to zero equals two. So we can write down. So this is five chi tilde plus six chi two minus four chi three plus chi four. Okay? And one three zero equals two. This is four chi tilde plus two chi two minus three chi four. Yeah? Uh, sorry, sorry, why? Plus two chi three minus three chi four plus chi five. Okay, I yeah I want to write down yeah this. 
So this is plus chi 3 plus 2 chi 4 minus chi 5 and minus sigma 1r0 for r equal to 5. So n1r0, this is uh, for r larger than equal to 5. This is unknown. Okay, so we have a B naught. The the uh, the canonical sequence says that uh, B naught can be packed with uh, epsilon, say epsilon five uh, prime packings into B five, and epsilon five still by uh, lemma lemma two point one. So epsilon five. How to calculate epsilon five? So epsilon five is uh, by our result. This is delta five b four is b zero. Okay, minus delta five of b. Okay, so delta five is okay. So it's uh, right down here. Delta five is can be expressed. Uh, how about delta 5 B naught? Because this is uh, when we calculate the delta 5 uh, for this thing, it's, we don't have to be worried about this. So, and so when we calculate this, we can yeah finally calculate this. So the result is 2 chi theta minus 2 chi 3 plus 2 chi 5 chi 6. Okay, so uh, uh, sorry, so I write down too much, yeah, but uh, I want to explain the key point. So, <coughs> so I have, yeah, I have, uh, I have epsilon five. So then that means I can write down B five because B five is uh, compact into compact by epsilon five prime packings. So. So the in one to level five. So exactly it's one to zero minus epsilon five. So we can write that explicitly. And in one three five. So this is exactly in one three zero minus epsilon five. This can be written explicitly. And one four five by definition, this is equal to zero. Okay, so n one r five. This is still unknown. Okay, for r other than equal to five. Okay, so anyway, so uh, this story can be yeah done yeah. Uh, further, so until finally we can calculate at until uh, B B twelve. So we calculate if epsilon six x six of course is zero. So we we'll get B six, and then we get uh, epsilon seven. Then we we'll get B seven until finally we get B twelve. So why should uh, yeah we calculate until B12? That's enough for our purpose. Uh, so so there is uh, yeah some table so in, in my in my papers. So everything is uh, yeah yeah except that some some terms are are yeah still unknown, but uh, in general it's computable. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, what what happens to the uh, to the to the yeah. So, what is the what is the key point here? So, you know, all these numbers are non-negative. So, so an important an important uh, observation is is that so observation observation is, is that when x is minimal minimal of general type. 
And uh, um, uh, so, uh, so in this case, uh, chi m tilde should be replaced by p m of x. This is plurigenous. And uh, uh, so, uh, so uh, we use this inequality e epsilon ten plus epsilon twelve. This is uh, non-negative, of course, by our definition. And uh, we can express this epsilon ten, epsilon twelve, in terms of the plurigenous of X. So, so this uh, this inequality simply implies a very exciting inequality. It's like, let me write down. It's like this. <coughs> it's like this. So I call this uh, inequality the inequality star. So this is two p five plus three p six plus p eight plus p ten plus p twelve. This is larger than or equal to chi of O x plus ten p two plus four p three <coughs> plus p seven plus p eleven and finally p thirteen. So uh, so for many years um, <coughs> so in the Baryon geometry of three folds. So uh, color has the following result. <coughs> yeah, color has the following result. So color says that uh, yeah, the first point is color says yeah says if uh, p m not is larger than two, then uh, you can do everything. S for example, phi eleven m not plus five is birational. So you can you can get everything you want. So now, so without this condition, that means when p yeah if uh, p m or smaller than equal to one for uh, m for m larger than two smaller than twelve, then you, you, what what you can see. So you know that every PM are smaller than or equal to one. Okay. So the le the left hand side is two, three. This is five. Uh, this is eight. Okay. But on the right hand side, you see this is chi. So this uh, yeah our inequality star implies that first chi of O x this is bounded. By eight. In fact, it's by six. It's uh, easy to yeah by six. This is first and second. P thirteen of x. This is uh, yeah by by four. So by calculation, yeah, it's easy to to find because this is uh, this yeah this is uh, this is bounded and this uh, yeah and uh, actually uh, when yeah when. When chi of O x is uh, negative, this is okay. So we can assume that chi of O x is positive. Okay. So that means chi O x has uh, uh, finite possibilities. Okay. Chi has finite possibilities. Then, then you, you you can see here, say B not. Chi is Finite and all everything are finite. And uh, on the other hand, we can show that uh, when R is larger than six, this is all this are zero. So, uh, so in fact, uh, we can calculate B twelve. So we the, the direct result is uh, the set of B twelve is finite. Yeah, uh, yeah. By by calculation, we found that there's several hundred, several hundred possibility, and uh, everything can be listed. Then theoretically, we are done. Okay. So uh, what we we are doing recently is just uh, to yeah to do this more reasonably, and uh, so we have uh, uh, three papers that is uh, called explicit uh, geometry. So one. Two and three. Okay, so uh, 
the first two series are published. Uh, the third uh, one uh, was finished uh, just uh, a couple of years ago. Uh, now it's uh, uh, accepted. Okay, so. Uh, mm, it. So it will, yeah. So, uh, so, so, so far our result is like this. <coughs> for threefold of general type, we know that, uh, yeah, for threefold of general type, uh, so far, the most updated result is uh, the following theorem. So x is minimal of general type. Then the first is uh, we know that the volume is smaller than one over. Okay. And second one is uh, phi m is birational. M greater six. 61. So this is uh, the most uh, updated and uh, w yeah the best we can do. Yeah. So uh, of course, uh, uh, <coughs> yeah. So uh, uh, this uh, this yeah this uh, uh, theory of uh, basket consideration is uh, yeah very useful. So uh, so one point is uh, w it can be effectively used in classifying three of the general type. And, the, and on the other hand, it's, it can be very effectively applied to the to study Q funnel three folds. So, uh, so the next time, so next Monday, uh, I want to, I don't want to study, yeah, to explain the result on general type, and rather than uh, and uh, and instead I will uh, explain. Uh, the new res our new result on Q funnel three folds. This is a very new result and using uh, the basket theory. Okay, this is what I uh, can do. Thank you. Yeah.